Hi, my name is Vicki Ruffing from the Johns Hopkins Arthritis Center. This video has been designed for people with psoriatic arthritis. It's part of a series of videos to help you understand what it is like to have psoriatic arthritis. You've tuned into video one, clinical characteristics and diagnosis. The definition of psoriatic arthritis is that it is a type of inflammatory arthritis that often occurs with psoriasis of the skin. Left untreated, psoriatic arthritis can cause permanent damage to the joints and potentially lead to disability. Psoriasis is a common chronic skin condition that causes red patches of the body. About 1 in 20 people with psoriasis will develop arthritis with the skin condition. This is called psoriatic arthritis. In most cases, psoriasis comes before the arthritis. The cause of psoriatic arthritis is not known, but genes may play a role. About 1 to 2 people in 1,000 have psoriatic arthritis. Psoriasis itself affects 10 to 30 people in 1,000 in the United States. Males and females equally get this condition, and the onset of joint complaints is typically in the 30s to 50s. Psoriasis. Psoriasis comes before the arthritis about 85% of the time. Psoriasis may be mild or severe. This picture is a picture of plaque psoriasis, the typical type of psoriasis seen with psoriatic arthritis. There are several patterns that come with psoriatic arthritis that we will discuss. The first is asymmetric arthritis, which means there's less than five joints, and there is an asymmetric pattern, which means there is not the same joints or the same fingers affected on both hands. In symmetric polyarthritis, there are the same joints affected in both hands. For example, both index fingers may be affected. What this picture is showing you is some swelling across the, what's called the PIPs, or the, in the, the knuckles in between your most distant knuckle and your closest knuckle. So you see that swelling and tightness across those fingers. This can mimic rheumatoid arthritis, which is something that your rheumatologist will help differentiate to decide, do you have psoriatic arthritis or rheumatoid arthritis? The next pattern is distal arthritis. In this pattern, what we see are the knuckles at the very ends of the fingers, closest to the fingernails are affected. These joints are generally not affected in rheumatoid arthritis, and it is sort of a characteristic that is typical only in psoriatic arthritis. You can see in this photograph how swollen and angry looking those knuckles closest to the fingernails look. Arthritis mutilans is a destructive form of psoriatic arthritis, and it causes severe deformities as seen in this picture of these hands. Another pattern of psoriatic arthritis is spondyloarthropathy, which affects the spine, the sacrum sacroiliac joints, and the hip and shoulder joints. Spondylitis will be discussed in another series of videos. Other symptoms of psoriatic arthritis include dactylitis or sausage digits. The toes in this uh, picture show how red and swollen these toes are where they take on the shape of a sausage. They almost are the same shape at the top as they are at the bottom. Another symptom of psoriatic arthritis can be inflammatory eye diseases. As you see in this picture, the redness and irritation in the eye with the arrow. Tendinitis or enthesitis is another symptom of psoriatic arthritis. What we see in this picture is an, an angry tendinitis in the Achilles tendon of this heel. Notice how swollen it is compared to the other heel. Another common symptom of psoriatic arthritis are nail changes. This, you can clearly see pitting in this, throughout this fingernail. Another nail type change is nails can detach from the nail beds, as seen in this photo. So how is the diagnosis made? The clinical presentation of the joints and other complaints are taken into consideration. Uh, the physicians will ask you if you have a history of psoriasis. 
They will look for radiographic changes, meaning the changes may occur in x-rays of your hands or feet. And possibly you have a family history of psoriasis. Not all cases of psoriatic arthritis are the same, and people have varying amounts of skin and joint involvement. Blood tests that measure inflammation can often be drawn and measured to see how active your disease is. Once you are diagnosed, you and your rheumatologist will make a plan to treat your psoriatic arthritis to prevent additional damage. In other videos, you will learn how psoriatic arthritis is treated and how you can partner with your healthcare team for the best possible outcome. Thank you.